Well, hello. Uh, we're back. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very pleased that, that uh, for this next session, uh, I have the opportunity to introduce as our next keynote speaker, uh, David Blood. And he's going to tell us where he sees the responsible, sustainable investment space headed. Uh, David is the co-founder and senior partner of Generation Investment Management. And I should mention that Generation has been a huge supporter and, and David personally um, on the work on fiduciary duties and over the last number of years, really shifting from could to should to must uh, take ESG factors into account in investment decision making. And most recently, uh, we've initiated a program and also a partnership with the PRI and Generation uh, Foundation on uh, the new horizon on fiduciary duties, looking at the role of impact and output. Uh, outcome orientations and how that fits within one's fiduciary duties. So with that, David, if I could hand it over to you, thank you and uh, take it away. Terrific. Well, thank you very much, Eric. I uh, have eight points that I'd like to share with you all uh, this morning or this afternoon or this evening, wherever you may be. The, the first is, uh, and we, I think most folks know this, but just to be very clear, the next 10 years will be the most critical years in my career, and indeed, I think, to the future of humanity and the planet. And finance can and must play a critical role. When we established our firm 17 years ago, uh, we knew very clearly that sustainability challenges like climate change, like pandemics, like uh, social justice, inequality, the challenges of poverty, they were going to drive economies and would increasingly drive economies. And we see that clearly today. But when we established our firm, we had to uh, work with a, a number of legal advisors to uh, give ourselves confidence that sustainability and ESG could be used in an investment process, again, because we felt it was very relevant to the success of economies and, and business. And now, as we think about uh, 2020 and we think about the challenges that I'll speak about here in a second, what we recognize is that, in fact, all investing has impact. All business has impact. And so increasingly, we as investment managers, we as capital allocators, and we as business leaders need to evaluate our, our performance based on return, on risk, and on impact. Impact can no longer be an externality. And that will be something we need to, to work hard at establishing a, its legal principles over the course of the next uh, couple of years. The urgency of the climate crisis will require transformational change. There's just no question about that. Everything that you've done today will fundamentally need to, to change. If we have just incremental change, we will not achieve the objectives of the Paris Accord, nor will we have a fair economy and meet the sustainable development goals. So this transition must be the most significant transformation in economic history. And in fact, we think that the, uh, the net zero asset class, the opportunity set associated with net zero will in fact become an asset class over the course of the next uh, couple of years. And we will need to allocate significant trillions of dollars to this asset class across all portfolios to achieve the Paris Accord and to be Paris aligned as investors. And of course, this transition must be a just transition. We will not achieve our objectives from a climate change perspective unless we recognize the challenges of communities and of people and of the challenges of poverty and in social injustice uh, as we make this very dramatic change in our, our economies. But the, the challenges of coronavirus probably give us a once in a century opportunity to rethink how we are allocating capital, the interactions uh, between governments, between companies, and indeed the, the capital markets. This is a, a chance to build back better and to rethink how we're uh, reflating our economies to take into consideration the intersection of human health, planetary health, and economic justice. What Freshfields is doing with the UNEP is developing a report on, on whether impact can be a tool to assess businesses and, and to allocate capital. This is absolutely critical work. 
the investment landscape must be fit for purpose in order to make this important transition. And if we aren't able to recognize the, the challenges of, of what businesses are doing and, and measure their impact, if we're not able to use that insight to help allocate capital in a more effective way, then we will not be able to deliver on what we, we need to deliver over the course of the next uh, number of years. Ultimately, what we're talking about is internalizing externalities. And as I said in the beginning, we can no longer allocate capital. We can no longer operate businesses uh, with the notion that impact is an externality. They must be internalized. And as we do that, we will allocate capital in a much more effective way that will help us drive to a net zero carbon, prosperous, equitable, healthy, and safe society. Thank you very much.